All right, so let's do the personal highlights. Hi, my name is Jimmy Tanzil, and this is my personal highlights. I was born in 1979 and raised in Jakarta, Indonesia. So I am Indonesian and Canadian. So in 1991, I remember my dad bought our first computer ever. It's an IBM XT and it's, it's running at 8 megahertz with 640 kilobytes of RAM. I can still smell the new computer and I still remember the motorcycle who delivers this computer to our house. I was so excited. That was awesome time. 1991. Skip forward several years. This is um, on my 12th grade when I finished my high school. I got a Pentium Pro PC from my parents. So this is a way much more powerful PC I got and it has a um, sound card as well. I remember the Sound Blaster Pro. It's really rare back then for a PC to have um, sounds coming out. It's a, a, a luxury and the speed is awesome. I think I have 4 megabytes of RAM on this guy and 40 megabyte of hard drive, I think, yeah. Um, yep, I spent a lot of time and years making programs, codes, and playing games, all kinds of stuff here. And on the same year, I found this awesome book in a bookstore. It's Pro 5 Interactive Course. And this particular book literally changed my life. It's like a divine providence, so to speak, because through this skill, it kickstarted and launched my IT career, you know, beyond my wild imagination, beyond what I ever want, want, wanted in my life. So I got this book, I read through it, I go through the codes, having fun with it, and next. On the same year, I go into my computer science program in Bina Nusantara University in Jakarta. And this is also an awesome time, learning lots of, you know, algorithms, math as well, and stuff like that, and coding assembly. I remember doing assembly. You know, move, <laughs> or put command, move command, all of those stuff. Yeah, amazing time. Okay, moving on. So this would be the 1997 to 2000, my IT highlights. So 1997, during my summer break uh, on 12th grade to university, I developed a Facebook platform for my high school alumni friends from high school so they can update their whatabouts, post photos, um, comment to each other, more likely like the current day Facebook, but um, less functions for sure. But that would also kickstart my next job, my first job in um, 1998. That would be my second year of university. I got a job at a US company. So it's a foreign company in Jakarta as a pro programmer. What do you know? A pro programmer and as a web developer. So I make $60 a month. That's not $60 an hour. That's a month. And that's a good, good money for a 12th grader or not 12th grader anymore. Second year university. Um, yeah. My boss was Mr. Sachin Gopalan. How are you, Mr. Sachin? I hope you're doing well. And he's a really nice guy. So, um, 1999, that's on my third year of university. I got promoted 
um, as head of software development by Mr. Sachin and I got a promotion and making 350 bucks a month now. That's a lot of money, the same salary as my dad. He's teaching med school uh, for 30 years or something in the government university and I'm making about the same um, income as my dad's was making. Pretty exciting. And on the third year, same year, third year of university, I got hijacked by the biggest dot com in Indonesia. This is a big um, capital. They have a big capital from the US and they start a dot com and start hiring all, you know, web developers from all over the country. And I remember the time when I got interviewed. I was not interested because I was just promoted, see, um, to the head of software development and I was hired or offered as a senior pro uh, programmer and I just doubled uh, more, oh, doubled, yeah, doubled my salary request and they say, when can you start? And what? <laughs> I was just playing and they offered me the job and I took it. I asked my girlfriend, should I took it? And she said, take it. So I took it. She's my wife now of 20 years. All right, moving on. 2000, that's my fourth year of university. I sent out 1,000 job applications to top 1,000 U.S. companies which will be sponsoring H-1B work visas from foreign people. So I applied to 1,000 companies. I got three. Um, interviews and I got one job offer so at the year 2000 I got a job offer from Indotronics International Corp um, in Sunnyvale California as a pro again pro programmer analyst and I was offered 60,000 US dollars a year so that's around that's 5,000 Upon degree completion, because I haven't completed my bachelor's of computer science degree. I was still in my fourth year, right? And to get a visa, the U.S. government requires visa applicants to have a bachelor's degree. So I can't go there to take the job until I finish my degree. So I was so excited, you know, over my head. Got cocky, you know. And it, Next, 2001. 2001, the dot-com bubble burst in Silicon Valley. And what happens is my offer got canceled. So I was canceled. The job offer from Indotronics um, International Corp, IIC. So, oh, I was so disappointed. So I go find, uh, to go find a, a job um, in New Zealand. So I got married in 2001 with my girlfriend, which is now my wife of 20 years. And we got a job offer in New Zealand as a cold fusion developer. Because back then on a dot com um, company, I was doing cold fusion as well. So I got certified in cold fusion and got hired in New Zealand. And 2001, we had our beautiful daughter born in Auckland, New Zealand, a Kiwi, a natural born Kiwi. She's now 20 years old. Okay. And there, while I, while I was still working as a cold fusion developer, I started my web hosting company. You know, whenever we have a new um, sign up or a new order, I ask my wife to process the order. Exciting times. Moving on, 2003 to 2006, I moved back to Indonesia, to Jakarta, to grow my web hosting company to a 24-7, 365 operations. So we are open all the time, every, every single day, any time of the day, including holidays, to do web hosting support and managing all the servers. We have staff in Indonesia, of course. Russia, Ukraine, and the U.S. And on that uh, year, 2003, um, we had our firstborn son. <laughs> Exciting times. All right. So, 2006, I moved to California. We as the family moved to California. 
So we sold the house and we uh, rented there. Um, we leased two data centers and purchased. We bought hundreds of servers and opened an office in Fremont, California. That is also very exciting. I, you know, managed all the servers, um, hired consultants as well to create the network, design the network. And whenever we purchase um, a new server, I personally rack them myself, you know, upgrade RAM, switch hard drives, you know, manage the networks, everything I done with my own two hands. And I really enjoyed it. My dream back then was to, you know, buy a building and build my own data center, you know, but we haven't gone that far and I sold the company. Got a cash offer, you know, and I took, I took the offer. I, um, I, I sold my company, take all cash op, um, option, and then I launched a new business with this whole swag of money, and I got born again. I meet with the Lord. That is a surreal experience. For those of you who knows it, you know what I'm talking about. 2008, just one year, <laughs> my new business didn't took off as I was expecting. So I lost all the capital from the company sale I made and I simply go broke. Moving on, 2009, while well, I'm still broke, <laughs> I had my second son born in Oakland, California. So he's a U.S. citizen. So on 2009, November, we got our permanent residency um, approved by the Canadian government. So we moved to Vancouver, Canada and start a new life there. So here, well, I'm not in Vancouver right now. I'm in Langley, but we're just 20 minutes away. 2009. And 2010, I got hired by KCM Canada as a data center administrator. So I took the job um, as I had tons of experience managing data center and servers. I thought I'm going to be managing like hundreds of servers, but eventually I'm landing a general IT job. So I took um, and took care of any and everything in uh, related to IT in the ministry, and I enjoyed it a lot. And 2011, I got a vasectomy because we have three children, and I don't want my wife to be to have to go through anything. She's done her part, giving birth to three kids. Now it's my part, so I got a vasectomy since um, I think we are done having kids. For that time and then 2015 this is where my sales force journey begins because KCM Canada is implementing Salesforce uh, we are migrating from Siebel CRM into Salesforce and I have zero experience with Salesforce and it I took the chance to learn the platform and go you know, dive in really deep. So I got a bunch of certification just to understand the platform because we hired a consultant and they implemented everything and it was so overwhelming for me. I don't know where to begin to learn the whole platform. There's so much going on. So I decided to go deep dive and learn everything and get certified for many um, certifications in Salesforce, which is what I'm enjoying at the moment, Salesforce. 2018, I got into the crypto fever. The whole world was took by the cryptocurrency and now 2021, it looks like it's going on again. But I got into cryptocurrencies mining. I bought a bunch of um, miners from China and miners S9 and started mining Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and got lots and lots of coins. But I lost it all in day trading. So I put, you know, shorts 
and then long position, short position. I didn't sleep. Keep monitoring those those charts. That's crazy time. I think a few months until I lost around sixty thousand dollars, and I said, "That's it. We're done." I sold all the mining equipments, and I'm out of the crypto. And now it's taking off again. But as Dave Ramsey said, you know, don't play with those stuff. It's dangerous. And I was burned once. I'm not going to be burned twice. So I'm doing um, more wise decisions now. 2018, crypto fever. If you're doing cryptocurrencies, be very careful. Always do tradings or, in, on, or investment on money you can lose. So if you lost everything, you, you're, you're fine. Then you can use that money, okay? Current year, 2020, 2021. I'm following Dave Ramsey for a couple years and I got debt free. So 2019, I started to teach Salesforce and published courses on the internet. And I sold a bunch of courses and make a lot of income from these courses online. Have thousands upon thousands of students or not yes, students, Salesforce enthusiasts. Got lots of feedback, lots of people thanking me. And thank you everybody for, you know, uh, believing in me. I put everything I got because I was so frustrated learning or trying to learn Salesforce. I want to help other people to not to go have to go through what I've been through just to understand how in the world the Salesforce works because there is so many buttons, so many things going on. You don't know which where to start. Now you know, you know. If you want to learn Salesforce, go to zone.io, that's my website, and you will have everything you need to learn Salesforce. And I got that free thanks to Dave Ramsey to guide me through the steps, baby steps one through seven. And awesome, in 2021, I got my vasectomy reversed just two weeks ago. <laughs> so we are expecting another blessing from the Lord. You know, we're open. We're not, you know, closing the door, so to speak, anymore. It's open now and we are ready to go. So that's my personal, really personal highlights of what I've been through career-wise and a little bit of, you know, just the, the highlights of my life. I hope you enjoy it. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm.